You know, honestly, I came into this meet with the expectation of just get reps in. Um, I think that I was a little bit impacted in my first half of the season with not racing enough and just being deep and grinding with training. And I think I can get a lot of benefit from getting more reps in, just competing more no matter how I feel or where I'm at in training. Just kind of experimenting with different things. Yesterday I got to experience it with a lot of different things with the 400, so honestly, with what I'm learning so far, I'm happy with it. With the 200, uh, I'm kind of playing around with different rates. Um, I was looking through some old race data and kind of figuring out how I can generate a little bit more rhythm. I usually have a really long and steady stroke, which, which works, but I think it's kind of limiting at the top end. And if I can kind of figure out a way to get a little bit more rhythm, then uh, I think that that'll really raise my ceiling. and. From that aspect of the race, not super happy with it. Kind of got stuck, especially in the third 50. We don't ever want to see a 28-0 in there, but um, you know, I was able to close well. I, I know I'm in good shape, and so it's kind of just about taking that information and moving forward. It's been kind of tough, honestly. I, uh, I've been going through different phases of being able to work really, really hard, and then facing a bad sickness of being out for sometimes up to two weeks, like no swimming. And then working really hard and then getting an injury. So I've been a little bit off and on, like kind of reestablishing that rhythm after Short Course Worlds. I had a really great training block from August through November. And then honestly, since then, it's been kind of hard to get going again. So um, past three weeks have been good. And next chunk of training, looking forward to the next like, two or three months, I'm, I'm excited for that. Trying to reestablish that training you know, rhythm, that um, consistency. So uh, it's been a little challenging recently, but you know, we're, we're getting better. In some ways, it's it's kind of a relief to, actually in, in many ways, it's, it's a relief to uh, not have to deal with conference and NCAAs. It always kind of frustrated me to have to, you know, fight my way through Big 12s unrested and then taper six full weeks for NCAAs and then try to do it again. Um, so, and then as for the high school schedule, um, in some ways I have to con kind of conform to that, but in other ways I'm, I get a lot of freedom to do what works best for me and my coach Chris and I work really closely just to, view what I need specifically and then match my schedule with that. So um, I haven't really felt been stuck in that way, so I'm getting what I need for that. First of all, it's kind of, Carmel's in a weird spot because even insane insane meets are just kind of expected. But I think they still have to be respected that like uh, the, for how incredible they are, but it just kind of at, at this point, like you're like, oh, it's Carmel doing well again, but it was amazing. And as for that national record, I don't think I've ever celebrated after a race like that before. I was on the side with my coaches and my team, losing my mind. It was like, and then he looked, Aaron looked over and he was splashing the water. We were just screaming back at him, ran, ran over and hugged us. It was a really cool feeling because also I, I know the work that he put in to do that and also where he's headed. But I mean, he's not even, he doesn't view himself and I don't view him as like a short course swimmer. I, I know that what he's doing in long course is where he thrives the most. And so I think some big stuff's coming for him. I think, actually I'm not even gonna say, but I, good, good stuff coming for him for sure.